Happy Halloween if you're watching this on the week of Halloween. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, had a lot of candy to eat, brush your teeth. But this is Tab Nation, and I am Tom. So today we're going to be doing a video I'm surprised I actually never covered. So another intro video, I haven't done one in a while, but you guys all seem to enjoy it. And that is going to be some different type of control commands. So we're going to be looking at control click, uh, control focus, and control send. And we are going to be using some built-in apps that come with uh, Windows OS. Uh, specifically, we're going to do take a look at the snipping tool that uh, comes with it and Notepad. Uh, we'll use that. Just some simple programs. Obviously, these can be used across the board. One thing to remember with control, these control kind of commands, is they're not always going to work in every program. Not every program is going to have every button having something assigned to it. So this might not always work for every single thing. That's why we're going to be using the snipping tool first, so you can see kind of an example of a program that's kind of not fully capable with control clicks as much as I would like it to be. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> here is our code. Very simple code, so you know it's. Uh, but the very powerful thing can be super useful for stuff. Uh, so the first thing uh, we got F1 here. I'm going to go ahead and run this if I can find it. There it is. Make sure I have no other scripts running that are going to affect it. There we go. All right. So we got our program running. So I'm going to do two things here. So the first thing is um, you need to kind of get some data that you're going to be using. Um, and when you install AHK, it automatically comes with this program. As long as you installed it with the defaults, this is where it's going to be. If you change the file path, can't really help you there. You're kind of on your own on that one. Um, so we're just going to go to our main hard drive. Usually it's called C. We're going to go to Program Files here. Auto Hotkey should be towards the top since it's alphabetized. And in here, we got this little HK script called Windows Spy. And by default, that is going to be installed in your computer. Uh, so you should already have it. So all we're going to do is double click. A nice little fancy GUI is going to pop up here. We can go ahead and close that. And this basically it uses your mouse and it gets a lot of different data. Um, so the first one we see here is basically the most useful information that we're going to be using in this video at least. But this is really cool. Um, just to kind of show you uh, this uh, real quick, you know, it's showing you where the uh, where it was launched from. You know, it was launched from my script was launched or saved on my desktop. We're using Notepad plus plus is what our mouse is targeting. The executable is called Notepad plus plus dot exe. The PID processing ID and the HK ID, and those are what we're going to really be looking for uh, for this one. Um, we're going to specifically be, um, you know, looking at this box here for the information for this video. But it also does, you know, mouse position. It's showing you what color is behind my mouse, the position it's in, you know, control under the mouse, uh, active window position, you know, what's the height, width, all that. Um, so a lot of useful information, even outside of what we're learning today that you might be able to use in the future. So we'll just put that over there for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Snipping Tool. So we're going to hover over some of these. So we do have our PID right there. 3, 1, oh. there we go. So, you know, we got our PID. As you see, I switching between what I'm targeting. It's going to change to that. Now we're going to go ahead and for us, we're going to be using options because we're not getting a lot of data here that we need. But if I hover over these, you see that HK class up there? HK class, uh, pound, hashtag, whatever you call it, number sign, 32770. That is what we're going to be using today, actually. I, I think I said I, we're using PID. I lied. Uh, but you can use whatever one. We're just going to use class, but you can switch it to either one. But we're just going to use class for this one. So this window right here, that is its class identification number, basically. And so we'll need that. Um, what else is there? 
Okay, so now if I go back here to this main window, you can see it's now no longer a number. A lot of times it is going to be number, but sometimes it's not. Um, that's fine. We can still use AHK class, Microsoft, Windows, Snipper, Toolbar. So we want that. And what our goal here is we want to press control click, button three. Uh, oh, there we go. So see how it says class in in under the uh, right here. That's where we're getting that information from uh, button three. So that is just that's literally just kind of like the name of it uh, that we're going to be using for it. <clears throat> um, so that's going to be the first thing. So that's F1. Uh, real quick, let's talk about F2 and then we'll show you both of those being used as an example. Uh, so, like I said, there's that number there. So we're doing the exact same thing. The only difference is we're doing button two, which is right here. It's that little check box. So as you see, I'm hovering over it. Jerk your mouse over real quick before it catches anything new. And there's that button two. So that's what we're going to be using. And then as I saw or said before, we target this. Uh, sometimes you got to be faster. It catches other information. And then we're using that. And then where we're doing that, Button two, HK class, we're using that again. And this one is a number instead. So, you know, it really depends on the button. You know, even within the same program, uh, from window to window, it can change on what the uh, class name or number is. Um, so I just wanted to show you both sides of that within the same program. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run our code, which is actually already running. And we're going to open the snipping tool, close that out. So, you know, basically if I want, you know, I'm going to press F1. And as you see, it just opened uh, this window, which was the uh, try and snip and sketch button. But as you saw, this was an in focus, but it still works. That's what's so great about this is that the window doesn't have to be active because it's able to use this class name here to know where to send that click to and then know which button it's supposed to be pressing. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, they're going to want to use this for video games. Uh, you know, a few heads up on that. Control click, it's very... I don't know, like, the exact percentage, but it's definitely pretty high on not working with most video games. You know, video games are just... They're really blocking this kind of stuff to prevent cheating. You know, uh, if you're playing a single player game, chances are you probably are pretty good to go. But any type of game that has PvP involved or online play in general, a lot of times they're going to block this kind of input so that you can't do it. Um, so you're kind of, when it comes to video games, you're probably screwed. And also, if they have really good uh, anti cheat software, and they're watching for stuff like this, uh, you can get banned. You know, there's a lot of games out there that are unforgiving. Some people don't even care. They're like, whatever, it's not really competitive play, so we don't care if you cheat. Uh, but then if you're playing a game like, I know World of Warcraft is very unforgiving. If you play World of Warcraft and they find you doing stuff like this, that they consider it cheating... Uh, they're permanent bans, no question asked. Just saying, there are companies out there like they don't, they won't even hear you out. They will ban you. It's a permanent ban, and they won't even listen to you. Uh, they just saw, hey, he was definitely cheating. He's done. So then you're, you know, you lose all your characters. You got to make a new, an account with a new email and all that. So just a heads up on that, guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, now let's say we have options open. If I push F2, oh, that's not F2. F2. Is my script still running? Controls and yep. Oh, it was just being slow. Okay, so I see it just check marked. So yeah, that's just um, F2 is gonna click on this. It considers this button one. So yeah, that's how that works. So now let's switch over to something a little different. Here we're going to be using Notepad, just simple old Notepad. And I am going to copy and paste, let's just copy and paste the code over. Let's make it fast and simple. 
All right, so what we're going to be doing on here is we want to find a word. So we want to do Control F, as you see, send Control F. It's going to open this. We'll delete that. Actually, yeah. So let's say we want to look for Tab Nation. We're going to have it automatically open this. Whoops. That was weird. We're going to have it automatically open the Control Find using Send Up Carrot, which is Control F. So Control Find. We then need to target this in case it's like, you know, let's say it's down here. We need the cursor to be here. So that's what Control Focus is useful for. And we're going to be using Edit One find so that's you know like what we did up there with um window spy you know we're just hovering over here as you see the class is the same a lot of times they are going to be the same three two seven seven zero so sometimes you might want to use either executable name pid id and if you do where you're doing the hk class you just change the class to say pid or exe um so the easy change um but we'll yeah. just stick with what we got for now so yeah, we're basically, uh, we're focusing on here, as you see, class in in right here, uh, it's such a pain, says edit one. So that's where we're getting that information from once again. And so yeah, uh, and it's just called find. So I mean, that doesn't matter too much, but it's nice to have there. So you know what your code's doing. So then the cursor is going to be here. Next, we're going to sleep for three seconds. You do not need these sleeps in your code, and if you do, they can be way smaller than 3 seconds, or 3,000 milliseconds. I solely have these 3 seconds here is for the video's sake. That way it slows it down, and you guys can kind of see it doing action by action. So it's not, you know, it's not messing you up, and you see exactly what's happening. So get rid of these sleeps, or at least turn them into 250 milliseconds or something. We're then going to be using a control sin. So this is the last one we're going to be uh, talking about here. And this is basically sending. It's basically a send, but it can send it to in the background. Um, so that, you know, we're using, we're focused on edit one. Now we want to type in edit one. What do we want to type? Tab nation. Now, if we're using a variable, you just put percent signs up here, you know, define your variable up there, calling it find. And we're going to sleep another three seconds. Like I said, just delete that or make it really small. And then we need to do a control click, uh, which is basically what we talked about up here. So as you see, everything's pretty much the same, except for, you know, we're just adding a click at the end because we want to make sure it is going to be a left click. You can change this to a right click if you need. And based off Windows Spy, the uh, button for actually finding the text is called button seven. And we're using this class number or whatever you want to use. All right, let's see this one in action. So this is F3. So we're going to close that. <clears throat> we're going to, let's actually, let's search for buttons. Well, actually, I already have Tab Nation written in there, so we're going to search for Tab Nation. Um, something you might not know is your cursor in Notepad, it's really annoying, has to be at the beginning of your code, because if you put it here, it only searches from your pointer on and it won't search up here it's super weird and annoying to me i hate it whatever all right i'm gonna push f3 it sent control v uh you know by default it's already focused but you know in some programs it might not be it just typed uh tab nation and it just pushed find next okay for some reason it, it clicked on it but for some reason it didn't register the click that's kind of weird i'm not sure why it did that i mean it looked like it clicked but it didn't perform the actual functionality hey worst case scenario just add a second control click and so you can maybe it just is doing something weird with it and it maybe with the code it wants you to double click so maybe you have to copy this twice or something or yeah let me know how that plays out for you that was really bizarre but then again it is notepad um so like i said you know get rid of these sleeps um one thing just to show real quick too uh, another option is if you don't even need this control send um, another way to do it just to kind of throw it out there as uh, some flexibility for you guys is the things i have commented out here clipboard equals tab nation we got rid of this this line's gone and then instead of control send 
because we are focused on there, we can do send control V and it'll just paste my clipboard over there. Um, if it's going to be your active window, I would honestly go this way over a control send uh, because this is going to be faster at typing out whatever you want versus control send. Uh, this is going to be instant where this is actually typing out, you know, T A B N A, etc. Where this is going to be an instant paste. So if it is going to be an active window that you're using this stuff in, go with this route. But if you're trying to do it in the background, control sends the way you have to go. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, always helps me out. And definitely subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff. I'm always throwing automation videos out there. 90% of them are always going to be in auto hotkeys. Sometimes I branch out. reason I do that is because if you're like me, I like to branch out eventually, learn other languages, even if it's just the basics, so I know what that language is all about. So, you know, if you guys have a language you're interested in me expanding on, you know, I've done some already in NIM, JavaScript, HTML, Python, maybe a few others, and never really plan to go more than five videos on a language. Uh, I'm just putting those out there as a way for you guys to kind of see what that language is about and maybe eventually say, you know what, maybe I'll expand my knowledge and start looking into Python a little bit more uh, just to expand my horizons. So yeah, if you guys have any uh, languages you're really interested in seeing a few basic videos, hopefully, you know, I'm going to try my best to still make them as automation videos. Uh, let me know if ideas you guys have, want to see, and I'll definitely look into it. And see you guys on the other one on any of my videos, and have a great Halloween!